I'm going to uh, just skip through a couple others here that uh, I think are uh, good for you to see so you can kind of relax. We're not going to be uh, doing anything new. Um, here are Amy's earrings. Okay. Another uh, Amy Glass one, one of our Rhino uh, users. She gave me these to use when we were doing the What's New in Rhino 5 webinar series. So you can see, again, objects that are smaller um, being shown on the layout at a larger size. So when you look at these, they are at 1 inch uh, to the model is equal to 0.5 units in the detail. And if I right click here and go to Layout Properties, the detail or the layout size is just an 8.5 by 11. And I could do the same thing here uh, using the uh, dimensions. That's pretty small for text. I could probably even make it 5. But I would have to, in any other of the dimension values that we want to change in here to make, oh, that got a little bit too big. OK, how about 3? and three, and three. Okay, so now they're a little bit uh, easier to read. I do have to do some separation here of some of the dimensions that are stacked on top. But again, uh, a good jewelry uh, example. A couple more, two more to look at. Uh, we've already looked at uh, Joys and Toys. Um, here is a 3D apartment, one of our good customers, Cosmos. Anyway, we have a number of pages here to this model. So a number of pages um, that are set up as layouts. And these are taken from the 3D model. So I want to go back here to show you that the model exists out here in 3D. This is an apartment set design. Cosmos is in Massachusetts and is an art director and does uh, sets for uh, TV and movies. So this is his model. And one thing he said to me a few months ago that uh, I remember is he says he's in layouts every day all the time. So uh, they're, they're very important to uh, getting his work set up to go out to manufacturing. Okay, so being uh, all of these scenes have to be constructed in, uh, in some way. Okay, so we have a nice uh, example here of uh, using layouts with an architectural model. So being the detectives that we are, uh, we can look at these uh, details and uh, see what they're set up to. That was just a picture frame. So here he's using half inch equals a foot. Here he's using a quarter inch equals a foot. So we get a combination of architectural scales that uh, are being used on this example. And let's look at this one. Probably half inch equals a foot. OK. No, I won't. I won't change it. Uh, let's look at one other. Here is an example from Jay Jeffries, our uh, dealer in the Bahamas. So Jay is a, a rhino dealer in the Bahamas. And this is his uh, reef runner. And we have a plan view, starboard, forward starboard quarter, stern transom, similar to what we did with the, uh, with the battleship. And uh, this is a 3D boat okay, out here in model space. And the layout was set up with multiple views of the same model at different scales. So, so just going back to something that I said when we started the presentation today, there's no reason why I can't print from model space. Okay, So this one uh, says, that uh, I'm uh, printing the uh, viewport, the front viewport. Let's see if we can get it. Let's do uh, scaled to fit. 
There we go. Okay, so there's no reason I can't just send that out to the printer. But what layouts are going to let us do is create multiple details showing different parts of the model, assigning different scales, taking information that's in one detail and not showing it in another. So the dimensions are not visible in this uh, detail. So if I look here to layers, they're turned off in this uh, detail. And there's a couple other things that are turned off too. Jay's got extensive layers going on here. That brings us to uh, the end of our uh, presentation. And so we looked at how to create layouts in a 3D model, a 2D model, uh, using different units. I want to uh, give uh, special thanks to uh, of course, Kyle, for helping me out and keeping your questions uh, answered during, uh, during the time that we were, we were really burning through this uh, material. Uh, Cosmos uh, Demetrio for uh, sharing his uh, apartment model. Uh, Jay Jeffries for sharing his uh, reef runner. Uh, Jerry Hambly, whose uh, house floor plan we were using. Amy Glasswan for the uh, earrings. Um, Kyle's water bottle. Dave Weidkamp for the uh, Joyce to Toys example, and then of course our Sergio Martinez out of the uh, Miami office, uh, the uh, ring that we uh, used in the webinar on rendering jewelry with Brazil. So um, let's uh, thank you uh, again for uh, sticking uh, with us uh, today. Uh, anyway, everybody, have uh, a great rest of your day. Um, Mary at McNeil.com if you have any questions or uh, comments. If you liked us or didn't like us, you can let us know. But uh, thanks, Kyle, for all your help. And uh, we'll uh, see you either on the forum or uh, in uh, another webinar. Have a great day.